Hey everyone, this is Richard at Backcountry Life, and today we are gonna open up the Evo SS Gimbal. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So I'm super excited. I just got this in the mail. I just bought the Evo SS gimbal. So I've been using the gimbal that GoPro has, the, the, the Karma Grip, and I've loved it. And it's been a great gimbal. However, it ha had some issues I didn't like. The battery life isn't very long. It's a little bulky. And last time I went snowboarding, it died on me. So I wanted to try something new because this is all we've used so far. So I did a lot of research and I came up with the Evo SS. I actually tried buying, there's an Evo Pro model and they were out of stock on those. So they're actually coming up with a new lineup sometime soon but haven't announced it yet. So I bought the Evo SS which I wasn't excited about but I'm actually more excited about it because it has a mount that you can attach to your helmet or your chest or anywhere whereas a lot of these other ones it was really hard to attach this you know when you take it off it has this big old thing it, it created this monstrosity on your head when you try to attach it to your head so this is more compact and I'm excited to be able to try it out on a helmet and see how that works here comes the exciting part let's open it up Thank you, Sam, for your knife. Sam always has a knife on him, by the way. So if you ever need a knife, just ask Sam. The packaging is great. I like how it's gonna slide out in a nice sleeve. Maybe. Oh, no, here you go. It opens up like that. Here you have it, the Evo Gimbal. So never tried an Evo, really excited to try it out. Uh, just on first uh, initial glance on it, uh, I'm surprised at how small this unit is. So it'll be really interesting to see uh, when we use it, how well it works with it being so small. So, but as far as like mounting it on your head, that's gonna be awesome. The other cool thing about it is it comes with rechargeable batteries. So I can't remember the battery life on this, but I remember it's significant, much more than the, the Karma Grip. But the great thing is, is they're rechargeable batteries, and so you can have a spare on you. So if you run out of batteries, you can just switch them out on the hill, and that's pretty light uh, to keep with you. One thing that I found out through calling customer service is that this does come with a handle. When I was looking online, it does not show that it does, and so I was concerned about whether I could use it in, in, with a handle as well, because I definitely want to be able to carry it. But it does come with a handle, even though it's still made to mount on your helmet or anything else. Here's all the mounting hardware and the cords. One thing that's a lot different than the Karma Grip is the Karma Grip, uh, for better or for worse, you actually slide the GoPro in and it actually hooks into the grip and you can actually control the GoPro from the grip, which is nice, but at the same time, it's also concerning that my GoPro sometimes gets water in there. And so far, I mean, my GoPro has been fine, but especially when I'm snowboarding, but it does concern me. On this, the, the, the GoPro just attaches in right here in this little sleeve and you don't have to take off any of the covers. So it works out well. I'm also interested to see how the microphone works because if you see here, the, it covers up the microphone part on the GoPro, which makes for a muffled sound. So when you're out on the hill, you can't talk. Uh, sometimes it picks it up okay, but most of the time it doesn't. Here, there's less, uh, there's less obstruction on the microphone, at least for the newer uh, GoPros. I think the GoPro 5 still, it's right here and it doesn't work real well uh, for the microphone, at least from what I read online. But I'm excited to see how it works. So right here's where you put the batteries in, super small and compact. I'm loving the compact nature of this gimbal. And the cool part about these batteries is they are rechargeable and you actually, they give you an extra set. So on the slopes or out dirt biking, if your battery dies, you can just switch it out real quick, which uh, the Karma Grip, you can't. Oh, we have light. 
So you have to hold the power button down. It's not just a click and release. You hold it down and it turns on. Check that out, guys. Seems to be working just fine. So the cool thing is, is you can install other attachments to this. So that's one thing I'm actually excited about is you can get longer poles or try different things. So check out how compact this is. So this is the Karma that I currently had, which was great, but man, this is just so much more smaller and compact. So especially for us when we're out helleboarding, it, you know, you can't bring your own backpacks when you helleboard. They make you wear their own backpacks and you have hardly any room because that's all your avalanche gear is in there. So that'll be super nice. Plus, like that's gonna be much more convenient to try to have on your helmet or on your head or anywhere else that you wanna mount it than, well, these are kind of a nightmare to mount, so. So, one of the things that is nice is they do have these little cords that you can plug from your GoPro into the gimbal that allow you to charge your GoPro uh, with your gimbal's battery. In listening to it up close, there is a little bit of sound, so it'll be interesting to see how much the GoPro picks up that sound, so we'll watch the footage later. So this is filming on the gimbal. After going through the video and editing it and just seeing what you guys saw, you can see that the Evo gimbal is actually quite noisy. So the Karma grip is probably a little bit better on the sound levels. Back to the video. One of the design fails on it with the newer GoPros is you can't access the power button. Now, I'm not super concerned about that because I never plan on changing the mode. And if you just hit this, it turns it on and starts filming. And then when you hit it again, it turns it off. So it can still work just fine. And then it will shut the GoPro down again. So you can just use that button for it. So one of the cool things is, is this has an app. And so you can download an app and control the gimbal through an app. So you can, you can adjust it uh, manually through the app or you can click on a button and it auto pans and does a couple other movements automatically for you, which is pretty awesome. There you have it guys, the Evo SS. Uh, we're gonna go out and test it out in the field and give you guys a whole review and comparison on how it performs a full day out of using it versus uh, GoPro Karma. So thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel to watch videos of us going hella boarding and doing lots of other cool things in the backcountry. And if you have any comments or questions, please uh, mention that in the comment section, like our video and thank you.